Hey folks, it's Kieran Barker here, and today I just wanted to show you um, a little trick you can do in uh, Chrome DevTools and also in Visual Studio Code to make it easier to kind of um, drill through data um, that you fetched from an API. So for this example, um, I'm using one of the JSON placeholder endpoints. Uh, JSON placeholder is like a it's a free website where they have some endpoints you can use just to get back some like fake data to do testing with. So for this particular example, I'm using their users um, endpoint, which gives you back this JSON string of data. So I've set up a script to fetch this data. Um, I'm not going to show you the actual script because there's plenty of tutorials online on how to do that. Um, but so my script will um, when I run it, it gives me the data back here in the console. And as you can see, I can I can look at the data and I can click through and see what each of the items is, right? That's nothing new, fine. But say if like I wanted a particular piece out of this data, like if I was just looking through and I'm like, okay, I want this bit and I want to know exactly like the properties and indexes I need to get to that bit. Well, it can actually do that for you. So let's just let's just go into a random one. So let's go like, oh, I want, uh, yep, this is the one I want. Um, I want the, uh, yep, company, that's the bit I want. And I want the uh, catch the company catchphrase. So, you know, instead of me manually having to go like, okay, right, that's the sixth index. Okay, cool, so it's six, and then it's the it's the company prop, uh, property. Okay, then, then, it, then it's the, like, you know, that's fine but you can literally just hover over the bit you want. So if I go here, catchphrase, and I can see that is what I need to use in my code to get that bit. It's the sixth index in the array, then it's the company property, then it's the catchphrase property. And this will work for um, any of them. So like, you know, okay, so let's go into seventh index. Uh, okay, I want, I want the ID, what's that? Okay, so it's uh, array index seven, and then it's the ID property, uh, address. Uh, Okay, I want the street, okay? So it's the index seven, it's the address property, and then it's the street property. So you can use that in your code, which is um, handy. It's like you can just see exactly what you need without having to like manually think like, okay, it's index this, you know, and then drill down, which is just awesome. Um, yeah, one thing I will say is that you have to expand it first, right? So this geo object isn't expanded right now. So if I just hover over it, it's showing object because it's showing me what this whole thing is. So you need to open it first, and then it shows you what you need. So that's that. Um, one other thing I will say is you can, um, there's a thing like this in Visual Studio Code as well, which is uh, a little bit more robust. So um, just for this example, I, I just copied all of this data and then threw it into a JSON file of its own, just saved it on my desktop, users.json. Now, um, the first thing you can do is you see the path at the top here you can expand that if you click on these three dots. And you can drill through it here so I can see that each each item at each index in the array, zero through nine, is an object, which is what these icons mean. And then, you know, I can see ID here is a number. That's what the little hash uh, symbol means. I can see these ones are strings. This is another object here, some more strings. And if I click on any one of these, it will jump me to that point in the data and the path at the top gets reflected to show. So I'm in the um, third index in the array, so the fourth item, and then I'm inside the address um, property, and then I'm looking at the suite property, which is a string, which is uh, really cool. Um, you can also, like, instead of having to like manually drill down like that, you can just, like, if you were just looking through the data, I can go, okay, uh, yeah, this is the bit I want, and the path at the top here gets reflected to show you that. So um, yeah, hopefully that helps you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.